and here we go, I guess. So your viewports are probably going to look like this. It's how it is by default. Your I'd like mine different, a uh, different view. Open up view, viewports, configure. I prefer this one. It's nice, but technically you don't have to because you have them here as well. All of these up here act as different viewports per se. This one I can just have my top, front, and side all on the side here and have the main game up here. So what I was talking about, the side views, because you're going to use side views for everything really. BSP, static mesh placing, basically everything. reason why is because, let me put down a player start or not. That works. I'll just simply subtract the room for right here. And actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to delete that room because I want a texture on my room. I'm going to build, get rid of it, open up textures. We'll choose the blood texture. Let's let's do that. Subtract. If you have a if you have a check if you have a texture selected, it'll automatically apply it to what we subtract. And then you can right click, select all, matching brush, and then I can just scale it however I want. F5 to open up this, alignment default, because it kind of makes it line up by itself somewhat. This is not a really good texture to represent that, but there we go, we have our room. Now for scale, I'm just going to put down my player start, because a player is like roughly this, uh, roughly bigger than this. You can get a real good skill uh, by not here, it's an actor's, the chess piece, and pawn, my favorite. I think it's just human pawn actually. Yep, there he is. You can get a good scale because the human starts roughly the size of a player per se, just not as tall. But this guy will take up a player slot if you don't delete him in your final version. But the reason why I'm saying you'll be using the viewports a lot because it makes BSP work a lot easier. You don't have to use the selector to do BSP. I can just throw that off the left. You can do it because control W We'll copy and paste. Now this, this is terrible. I'll have to show you later. So let's say we're going to subtract the giant room. Like I'll use this vertex editor. Control, Alt, drag a left mouse. Select, wow. This is really terrible to show because it's a fucking subtract. I'm just going to do another red piece then. Well, because now we have our scale, which is the player. I need you back. I'm sorry. There we go. Vertex editor, and or you could or you could click on the corner to select the vertex. You can tell it's because it's white. Uh, but I can control Alt and a drag, select a lot of vertices at once. Because if I just click in this corner, if I go into other views, it only selected that one corner. Oh, now it's going to be off center. Click this to recenter it again. <laughs> When I can just control alt drag and I get this one full and I get this one whole face. And you're gonna to want to be on grid obviously. So we go to here. I'm gonna change it to like a scale of one thousand just so I get a bigger room. I can control drag and I'll just do this. Control drag, control drag. Now I get this big room. And this is you have top, front, and side. And this is the top, easiest to use walls like this. And then front and side, you can make the roof taller. Now that's so tall, I'm going to hit subtract. This is a terrible looking room. Holy crap, I hate this texture. We're actually going to change texture, match your texture, brush texture, whatever. We're going to open crash. That did not get any better. That works. Change it back to one scaling for me. You can change it. This usually it's people work working two or whatever. One I just like to have on default. Yeah, there's our room. And now to show you what I was talking about with rotation of static meshes. I'm gonna go to furniture. We're gonna go to couch. There's our couch, and you can rotate it by control, right click. You can do this. Amazing, am I right? Control left click to drag around. Same here, but control right click rotates it in any way you want. If you notice here, this kind of is rotating it exactly the same as this would. 
That's because I have this rotated. Oh no, I've ruined everything. It's all about perspective when you're rotating some things. Some things, at least, not all the time. I'm back to normal. And there we go, couch. And I can make it flush with the floor. That is a couch, yes. And then you can use... Wow, dynamic light, because I need light. But the PSP isn't lit, because you do this. Yada yada. Man, terrible lighting. What even is F5 for this? I'm F32. Okay, I guess. God, lighting in this engine is so bad. Yeah, simple. But you're gonna use. Let's go back to textured for the, for that full bright effect. But you're you're gonna be using the side view for BSP work constantly because it's the only way you really can do it effectively in two grid and have it flush with however you what. So you flush with the ground. I'm just gonna build. And then I can just now control W, copy, rotate. If you want help looking for vertices, you can click this. Show large vertices. It works on Slack meshes too, but this slows down your game. There, I'm slowing down just trying to click stuff already. Damn. Yeah, vertices are the pain when you do show large vertices. Uh, Q gets rid of that W. T is for terrain, F is for fog. Yeah. You're never going to figure this out. <laughs> well, just never is an is a, uh, overstatement, I guess. You would eventually. Yeah, see, I selected everything here. Except for the pawn doing that. Because I have this selected and I just control Walt and I can drag. And I have everything selected here. And then rebuild. There it is. A room with the couch in it. Pleasant, but a lot of lighting's all messed up. Rebuild lighting. Hella. Wow. Why does lighting have to be so garbage? All surfaces, because I'm going to be doing that. Let's do like four. Mine that didn't get any better. <laughs> well, anyway. That's about it. A good guide is in Cave 1 Mapping. Pinned, it's Batman's guide, this one. Holy username here, also known as Batman. Which I can't find now. Okay, there's a present, because here he is. Batman. He makes good guides. Or that specific guide is really good. Oh, oh, that is it.